Hey everybody, Jake here, and it's time for This Week in Ink, number eight. I've changed up the format a little bit. It's going to be a bit more of a podcast conversation. I'm here with Josh. Hey guys, what's up? And so me and him are just going to discuss some topics that I've found, not necessarily just this week, but just some things that I've noticed. Um, so we'll go ahead and get into that. A quick word of warning, there will be some adult words in this, so I apologize for that. But um, let's just go ahead and jump into it. So um, first up... Um, I know, Josh, you don't have anything inked up at the moment. I only have one pen inked up at the moment, and that's because I'm doing the 30 inks, 30 days challenge. If you want to, I have a video on that. Um, you can also check out Instagram, um, at Ink Journal is the one who's hosting it, so feel free to join in. You don't have to start at the 1st of September. You can start whenever you want to. So just jump in and do that. Um, a lot of really cool posts and stuff on that. But um, as far as topics go... Um, Let's go ahead and start off with the Twisby Go. Um, so, have you looked at all of the Go? Um, the ones I've seen is the, the what you showed me on Goulet here, the two colors. Yeah, that's all they got um, at the moment. And I have seen your videos on the Go. Especially well, the first one, you said you weren't that impressed. Yeah. But you said in your live stream that you actually did... You were getting. I guess you would like it better. I know Andy said she liked it. Oh, she loves it. And, and I the, love the way it looks. Honestly. The uh, the full review of it is up, and it, it did. It, it was great. I hate the way it looks. I freaking uh, really I hate, it. I hate it so much. I'm sorry. I love the way the smoke <laughs> one looks. The the blue one. Um, I'm not a fan of. I don't know what it is, mm-hmm. but like see through blue pens or see through really colorful pens. I'm just gotten out of. The blue one's just not that pretty, but I like the smoke one. Like, I feel like it looks really pretty together. I I think, I don't know if I might have liked the smoke more or not. Um, maybe. The blue, the blue in hand, the pen in general, just looks kind of childish, to be honest. Um, someone did point out, though, they were like, I don't know if it'd be a great child's pen because they're going to be fiddling with it. And if it's full of ink and That's they press that plunger, uh, it yeah. shoot everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, like, I'm oh. watching the gif <laughs> of... The person getting the ink out and i'm like i can see a child squeezing that like and, and just squirting ink everywhere like that's not a really um yeah it's it's fun looking like i really do love the way it looks it's, it's a very, blast to use man i would say it's very um i don't want to say childish childish may not be what I'm child for, friendly right? child friendly like, it's well i think I it know. would be but um it's like a so, good starter pen i would say so i let um my wife try to fill this pen and yeah. her finger was and Aaron's Andy. It doesn't matter. Um, her <laughs> fi- her finger was like too weak to to get it. Oh wow! Easily, really? yeah. The spring takes a, quite a bit of force to actuate on ours. Oh. Um. So she struggled a little bit with it, but it was her first pen, and she filled it successfully. And I was I was pretty impressed. Maybe um, maybe not child friendly, but if they lowered the spring tension, I think it would be, and it may be a requirement, <laughs> you know, just to make sure that it doesn't wear down over time and then because the spring is going to break in at some point yeah you, I would you say don't want it just sliding down i would be worried with it, something on it breaking like even if you chip the back of it the spring is going to pop off and you're going to be kind of sol for a little bit well the best part about it though is the price like it's under 20 dollars. that's a hard that's a price, really man. good price for and something that, like this yeah and twisby's nibs are great the nib <clears> on ours <throat> is butter smooth like it's honestly right up there with my lamy 2000 my pelican m805 um, Andy's Pilot Elite 95S. They was like, it's butter smooth. It's amazing. I still don't have a Twisby, I believe. I really need to get one. I've oh, got you really do. Big this in... this would be the one to start off with, man. Like the e- I prefer the Eco over this, but for ten dollars less, this pen this pen's like hitting pretty hard. It's it's pretty impressive. Um, Listen, I'm and... I'm a little too much of a Lamy fanboy. I could probably get one. It'd probably get me back into doing pens more often. Um, I stopped carrying them because I keep losing them at work. It's yeah, not you don't a fun want to do experience. That. So. One thing that I've like, obviously, I write a lot at work, so I, I yeah. get to use them. But I also try to use them a lot out of work. Like I keep journals or whatever, like any excuse to use a freaking pen, I'm gonna do it. That's it's actually made um, excuse me, it's made this month a little difficult for me. So far, because I've only been able to keep one pen inked a day, I didn't think I had that many. Man, I had like fifteen or twenty <laughs> pens inked. It was you have a it's ridiculous. You have like a binder with ink pens in it that's almost filled i do um i don't know i, I don't know I if actually you realize enough, how much that is i think i have enough <laughs> pens to do a different pen every day 
for this month. You probably do. You, That's what I'm really trying. We're gonna find do. out. If not, I may <laughs> I may have to buy like another. Well, we're going down to um, Savannah on like the twenty something. Th- it doesn't matter. And it was a pin store down there, so I may. I was say, isn't the one where that guy? Is? No, hmm? I could be in the wrong spot. I'm thinking of the wrong place. I was thinking okay. of the guy that we met um at the pen convention. Oh, the chocolate guy. Yes. The- Oh, don't no. tell me that, man. Beside the chocolate guy. Beside the chocolate guy. Oh, Jonathan Brooks. No, no, no. He's, yes. in, a- he's in Aiken, South Carolina. He's That's like That's what I was wondering. No, chocolate guy is us. still in um Georgia, because I looked that up. I God. wanted to see... I want some of Yeah, and you have, to, you have to order it from... Which, I mean, I could probably run down to Georgia. <laughs> yeah, just... just you can order, though. It's like four <laughs> but he doesn't have, away, a, he, doesn't have a, he doesn't have an actual store, though. Remember, it's all online. Yeah, I forgot about that. His it's chocolate was really good, but it was just... It's it was expensive. Super rich. Very expensive, yes. Um, oh, um, a uh, quick on the fly, I wanted to talk about, I, cause I completely forgot to put it in the show notes. We'll jump right back to the Twisby, I promise. Um, the pin that I sent you a link to earlier, the, um, Papier Plume, uh, the, that blue and black Arushi, that pin is gorgeous. That wait, pin wait, is amazing. The, um, let me the see. The one if... with a funny name? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't with yeah. this name. It's like when I looked at it's it, hilarious. I was like, "I was like, what?" <laughs> but it's for their like uh, their birthday or something like that. It's it's gorgeous though, Josh. It's beautiful, man. When my birthday like, comes around, I like want you to tell me it's not nice. It's pretty. They haven't still, read too. I'm a little too childish. Oh god, it actually really is. Yeah, I'm not actually getting to the pictures closer. I wish it wasn't gold. Like that sounds weird. Well, I'm see, never a fan of gold with dark blue. It's it does not look good to me. I like the gold though with the blue. Let me see. Uh, is let me see if the red the red is gold as well. Um, do you have? Yeah, like I'm just not a fan of gold. I like red and blue and gold. It's it's fine to me. No, but it's, but it's it's, it's seven hundred and twenty dollars. I'll go ahead and put a link in the notes that way. I remember to put it in the description <laughs> of the video because if not, I'm gonna forget. I'm so sorry. Gonna forget. No, it's fine. Um. But yeah, it's gorgeous. <laughs> I want it so bad, but for seven hundred twenty bucks, no, no way. Just <clears throat> nope. Just nope, nope, nope. If, unless I can make jokes every day with it, I really just don't. See, I, <laughs> but I you can. could though. I could though. Um, for those who who don't feel like going down the description, clicking the link, it's called the Fagionato. Or um, <laughs> if <laughs> if you don't pronounce it properly, it it has um. Do you want me to say it? I mean, yeah, go ahead. I feel like I'm, 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 like I I have like I'm not allowed to. Say to. It. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. You're, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure you are. It's, <laughs> it's the Fagionato. Uh, and that's, the first, that's exactly what I said when I first saw it. Too. I was like, is he trying to, <laughs> is he sending me a joke? Is this what is going on here? <laughs> I'm confused what's going on. Yeah, um, no, I, I wasn't, it wasn't a joke. Um, oh god, that's terrible. It, it was just gorgeous, and I was, I was, yeah, I was gonna send it to you and joking, like, hey man, my birthday's coming up soon, why don't you buy me this $720 <laughs> fucking pen? Like, it's, it's, it's beautiful. Though. If there's one pen I would get to you, it would have to be the Fagan Auto. <laughs> do you, um, <laughs> do you remember that, um, Rainbow Stipula Truria that I sent you to, like, forever yes. ago? It was like a mass drop? I was so surprised you didn't get that. Maybe it's because... Like, I don't think you've bought like a stupid expensive pin yet. We'll get you there. We'll, no, we'll, we'll get you to the make a bad life decision. The most expensive pin I think I bought was the petrol. No, no, think... no, 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 no. You bought that um that uh, rose gold metal one from the pin. Yeah, show. they got dented. That's yeah. I'm so sad about. I love it. It's actually really is a good pin. It's just I, I need to review that one. I need to take a look at that. I need to go up to your house one day and just give you these pins and be like, here, review you should. This. It would let, say it would give you like the thirty day thing. I'll let you borrow the um. Oh goodness, I'm sorry about that, everybody. Um, I'll let you borrow the uh, Twisby Go, and you can try. You should. It out. I actually really love the way it looks. Like, wait, is it the blue one or the gray one? Uh, we, we have the blue one. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. I'm sorry. I can deal with it. I'll deal. I'll find some blue ink. I have. I actually have blue ink. I haven't opened and used yet. If you watch my review my of it. Oh my god. If you watch my review of it, I use um, Pilot Orochizuku Amaero. It's like a perfect match, dude. It's, oh, God, it's amazing. I still have that color verse. Oh, the, yeah. I don't even know what it's called. Warp panel? Warped? Something like that? Warp dimension. <clears throat> I think it is. You need to let me borrow really inks, too, man. I um, need to, so badly. Um, 
but yeah, Twisby Go is looking looking pretty good. It's it's hitting pretty hard at that yeah. price. It's ten dollars cheaper than the Lamy Safari, and like three bucks more than the Metropolitan. Whatever the hell the Metropolitan setting at now. I've heard there was gonna be a price increase on it, which um yeah, it, no, it did go up now. It's eighteen fifty now. Oh really? So Pilot Metropolitan is eighteen fifty. <clears throat> Twisby Go is eighteen ninety nine. Pay the fifty cents, dude. I love the Metro. Great beginner Honestly, pen. Though, like... This blows it out of the water. By like a mile. It's I like the so Metropolitan. I had three of them at one time, then I lost some orc, hence why. You know. Yeah, you, you, you went on a bit of a Metropolitan spree there after because I, I was really like, hey, did. why don't you get I this really pen? And you're like, it. I love these. <laughs> I absolutely adored them, and I had three different colors, and I love the way they look. I really do. They just. They're not bad, but I've had better. <laughs> yeah. Sounds weird saying it like that, but. Well, I, I actually prefer the, the Safari over the Metropolitan. That's just me. Oh, yeah. A lot of people hate it. Um, oh, how are you liking the broad nib on your safari? It's actually not bad. I can't write on anything that's not... Uh, Fountain pen friendly? Like, yeah, basically. Because yeah, then that, it that's spreads the downside. horribly. That's, that's the one area where it's like a <clears throat> Japanese fine or extra fine nib comes in handy is when you're using like really, really, really crappy is. paper. It really Like, I can't write anything because my handwriting is already fairly sloppy. Um, and it just... I don't just know. Like I don't know how to describe it. it. Like... On like sticky notes that I have at work, it just smears like so bad. Yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> the sticky notes I have at work are actually they hold up pretty decently. I I'll, I'll try to get you the brand and like um. You really should because we they, have they cheap like decent, dollar man. ones. Yeah. And they're not um they're great for regular pens. They really I are. Think, they're just I think not mine are posted. Else. I could be wrong. Post okay, Mister. Mister Recognize Brand. Over there. That's just the ones I went with, man. They were, they were on sale at Staples. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, let's go ahead and move on to the Caveco Art Sport. So, um, the pen I actually have inked up today is a Caveco Sport Skyline in Mint. Um, this pen looks like a tampon. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> like, go ahead and pull up the Art Sport and I... tell, me, tell me that it does not look like a tampon. If it looks anything like this, then... It's yeah. it's like this, but it's like it's like a like uh, really light mint this. blue. It's uh, so out of, out of these four, because um, we're on the nibsmith.com because mm. it's the best yeah. selection I can find at the moment. So they released these a while back in different colors. They finally re-released them. Steel nib, pretty materials, but they're a hundred and seventy-five dollars. Like what the fuck? You can't. One of these is literally dark blue for a hundred and seventy five dollars like what did that i mean it's <laughs> what are you it's doing? like a dark blue um a real blue i like the orange the orange looks like it's very shiny i like I the love. orange and i love, I love the orange. green that green yes is... the metallic green oh my god that'd be the one again man pins companies don't do green that well not unless this they're like pretty good this is really pretty the petrol yeah. is a really pretty green most of them suck the greenish blue <clears throat> for being honest, most most green pens suck. I'm looking at the it's dark really blue one, it and it's is. like, it's like um, Caveco has produced a series of limited production art sport fountain pens made from Italian acrylic. Okay, Italian acrylic, I get, but a Skyline Sport, I think they're like twenty five dollars. Let me double check on Goulet. I have it pulled up already. It's they're so inexpensive. They're like the pocket pen. Like they're just cheap. They're there. You can get them almost anywhere. Yeah, twenty five bucks. Oh, you're gonna mark it up by one hundred and fifty dollars <throat> because it's Italian acrylic. Same nib. It's not a gold nib, man. It's a freaking steel nib. And I'm like, what the hell are you doing? Wait, is it a steel nib, really? Yeah, it's steel nib for one hundred seventy five bucks. Wait a minute, I haven't actually looked at any of the. Let me see this. Yeah, an upgrade to a gold nib is one hundred and twenty eight dollars. <whistles> oh my god, it is. You're looking at three hundred <laughs> bucks. Cool Let me just go ahead and <laughs> nib over that, like, nick over that $200 range and get me a, a black one, like a black steel nib. I mean, you might as that's well. That's what I want. It's $32 it would look... just because it's black? Wait what a minute. Oh, no. They have gold on both ends. Like, they have the gold. Oh, oh you're looking at the inlay. orange one. I was looking at the green one. Yeah. Well, the, the orange one's the one I would want. I can't get a black nib if it has black on the if it's gold yeah, it on looks, the top. Yeah, it looks weird. It would look so stupid. What does the green one have on it? It's silver. Silver trim. Still can't do black. You could get a rhodium gold nip for $136. You're right. That's exactly what I need to do. 
You know what this material reminds me of? It reminds me of like a green version of my um, Ocean Swirl. It's got like it that, that depth, does. that translucence, and it's it's just chatoyance is I guess the word that they're using nowadays. <laughs> um, really nice, gorgeous material. Like honestly, if it was you know sixty bucks, I'd consider buying it. Fifty bucks, probably forty. Oh hell yeah, hundred and seventy five, no. Every day, no. That's stupid. That's it dumb as hell. It kind of looks like a really dark malachite color. It kind of like, does. I knew there was something, yeah. Like, I just, I really love the color. I just wish it wasn't that price. Uh, There's no reason for it to be that price. And people are going to buy mm. them, dude. That's the weird part. Like, I don't... Maybe, maybe if you love sport, because there's, like, a sport following out there. But for this price, you can literally get one of the, like, carbon fiber sports. Have you seen those? No, I have not. Let me... Let me see if I, I can, can find. find There's they have an orange one and it's Ooh. it's gorgeous. I don't really keep up with Koweko. Like I just I'm gonna send you the link real quick. Go ahead and um pull it up. It's dude it, like if I had to pick one to buy at this point, it would be this one. Like it's nice. Oh, actually. It's gorgeous, <clears throat> right? <laughs> it is. It reminds me so much of an actual like like an actual sports car. I love the black with the orange. It's it's, it's very made pretty. of aluminum. And I'm not sure if that's legit carbon fiber, but it looks pretty good. It looks, you know. Okay, I'm looking at the colors. Of the carbon like fibers all of them. Have. I gotta tell you now, the rose gold one and the black one are probably my faves, and then orange is really close. I'm surprised you don't like that green. I hate that green. <laughs> the green looks awful. I don't. The worst one here in this whole picture is the red. It's very. But that's it's, not even that bad, honestly. They're yeah. all really They're all pretty, pretty nice. I would even take They're the They're all green. very pretty, exactly. But the, that orange, though? Oh, goodness gracious. It's beautiful, man. <laughs> I love it. It is. Uh, see, like this is how you do these. These are really... And they're... I'm not going to say they're cheap, but they're cheaper. They're not, but they're, they're nice. not made out of acrylic. They're, like, milled out of aluminum. And milling aluminum is a lot harder than just bending it. Like, it's... They're sturdy. They're pocket pens. They need to be sturdy. I don't know about you. I would toss this in my pocket. It could get a little scratched up. I wouldn't be that worried about it. I'd probably still keep it in a slip or something. But that art sport pen is not going in my pocket ever. Like, that's staying in a case somewhere. It's $175 yeah, exactly. for some plastic. I like, mean, it's literally just... <sighs> Jesus. What gets me, too, is um when you have these pens... Is acrylic that are... pens that expensive? I'm looking up now. Like, noodle well, acrylic saying. ones are not... No, Noodles Acrylics not. But if you look at um, Edison or Franklin Christoph or any of those people, Jonathan Brooks, where it's hand-turned acrylic, yeah, it's a bit more expensive. It, but expensive. those are small batch, semi-custom pens sometimes, very small numbers. Now, these are small numbers too, but this is a big company. A lot of those pens are made in America, which, you know, if you're out of country, you probably don't care. But to some people in America, that matters. Personally, I don't oh, give a yeah. shit. But... People in America um, really love their um, yes. American-made idols. For some reason. And the, the only reason that I, that I enjoy buying American-made stuff is it kind of supports the local economy. Yeah. But, but I will buy out of country in a heartbeat. Like, I don't care. Um, but yeah, I think the AC sports are much more compelling than the art sports. Oh, I yeah. Just don't... Oh, no, no, no. The AC sports are so much better. I, If someone was like, here, let me... I'll, I'll sell you this the art sport the green art sport one for like half price i'd probably look at it i'd be like yeah that's that's kind of worth it yeah I, I would look at it too but it would still be like what eighty seven fifty or something like that um it like yeah it's still expensive it's a gorgeous material i would have to see it, it and hold it in person i think that's what i'm saying it's a bit, it looks like it how do i describe it your your coeco pen was heavy you mean my and pelican? I feel like this one's... Was it your pelican? My pelican I just has know that it was in the same material. I would say it looks like it's in the same design. This is the main thing. Because um, I know you had one pen that was be. very They're... heavy for the actual look of it. And I, I really did not like that. I don't know. So, I have a it could be that one. I don't know. Heavy. But yeah, um, I like I have... Um, th my, my current sport that I've inked up now is just one of the plastic ones. Just the Skyline sport in the mint. I also have the um, Bung Box June Bride one, um, which was important to me because that was our, our wedding colors, and we got married in June. Yeah. Um, and I love it. I love it. Now, it, it, that one was $140, but that came with a box of 
Bung Box June Bride ink, and Bung Box ink is about 40 bucks a bottle anyway. <laughs> so, um, but, um, it's, like, I love that pen. It's great, but that also has a lot of sentimental value to me. And I, I couldn't pay that much money for something that didn't. That's exactly it. Like, there's... <clears throat> I guess if you're a collector of that certain thing, yeah, yeah like go some for people it. collect that's very the, the sport cheap pens. for something that's very like that. Yeah. But if you don't, <clears throat> that's gonna be a hard pill to swallow, man. It is. It's very. I, I don't know. I just I feel like I couldn't do it, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, you want to go to the next pin? Yeah, we can go ahead and uh, okay, what do we? What, what, what's next? The hives. The hives from that one. Uh, the next one is the Visconti Ocean Breeze. Ocean Breeze. breeze. I Ocean literally breeze. just saw this pen. Um, it's... Damn. So they have it in a non-rose gold. Um, if you're interested, Ooh. if you click back to the coming soon section on Goulet. Um, they have it in a non-rose gold finish. They have it in like a silver, I think. Um, let me go back and look. But the rose gold is what caught my eye because it reminds me of the Visconti London Fog. Um, which was a pin that I wanted, but it's about a thousand dollars and it's gone now. And I was like, oh, this pin's nice. It's also a thousand dollars, which means I'm sure as hell not going to buy it. <laughs> but it looks really freaking cool. Like, I love that they did this in rose gold with if that. If anyone blue. that's listening wants to buy this pin for Jake, oh, yeah, in a heartbeat, wait, wait. Man. <laughs> yeah, buy, buy it for me. Send me money now. You know, just send me the pin. It comes out September. My birthday's in December. Just. You know what? That'll give you plenty <laughs> of time. Present. Yeah, early birthday present. Um, but the detail in this pen is very impressive. The acrylic's gorgeous. I don't know if you've noticed, but there's like a wave pattern on the clip and on uh, not on the clip on the cap band, um, on the top and bottom. Yeah, I finial. noticed that. Yeah, the, and it's at the very bottom of the pen as well. It's very pretty. Like it's a and, lot of detail that went into it. Yeah, and Visconti's nibs are gorgeous. Holy crap, they're they nice. are. They do. They, they use palladium nibs. They call them Dream Touch. I've never used a palladium nib. I probably need to at some point. But Visconti's are just so often. When you get up to the palladium nib, I think the cheapest pen you can get with the palladium nibs is the Homo Sapiens, and it's like seven hundred dollars. And that's just. I I, I want to get one so bad, but not right now. <laughs> no, not when. I mean, all you gotta do is just dip right your fingers now. into your savings and, you know, not eat for a little bit and you'll be fine. Yeah, just starve to death. Just starve a little bit. It's worth it. It's worth the pen. It's completely worth it. At least a week's worth of pay. Holy crap. Just down the drain right here for this pen. It's really pretty, though. Um, I just, my usual thing, and I know it's stupid, I know some people like it, I just hate that it says Visconti on the, like, the clip. I, the clip, I hate the way it looks. Fucking hate those clips. Oh my god, I hate them so the much. The clips are really. I just hate the way it looks. So much. I have. So that's my like only like hatred for this pen. That's pretty much all the Sconti clips. I have it on my Rembrandt. It's so unfunctional. It sucks. It's terrible. It's garbage. It looks okay-ish. I guess it's no. it's awful though. No. I'm very picky about pen clips because when I'm not using my pen, especially at work, if it's expensive at all, like over 50 bucks, I'm putting it in my pocket or my shirt pocket when I get up from my desk. And with that, you have to pinch it out first, pull out the clip, and then put it in your pocket or whatever, and then close it down. Like, it's it's an extra unnecessary step, and it slows you down. I think Visconti <laughs> needs to shoot a little bit lower. I understand that pen's nice. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful, you know, power filler, all that shit, but a thousand dollars? All that shit. God. And I people mean, you're are mainly these. paying for the name. Uh, the same yeah. you have of Visconti. Yeah. And that's it's... part, I, I got the Rembrandt because I wanted to try it, because you hear, I hear a lot of people are going like, oh yeah, Visconti's amazing, it's, it's wonderful. And then you have people that are like, Visconti's awful, it sucks ass. And if... I'm willing to give them a second chance. I do want to try the Homo Sapiens Bronze Age. I want to try it really bad. It's it's a beautiful pen. I'm certainly going to get one. I, I handled one. I didn't write with it, but I got a handle one at the pen show in Atlanta. It blew me away. Amazing. The Rembrandt sucks. It is <clears throat> terrible. I never use that pen. This month will be the first time I've used that pen in an extremely long time, like probably a year. Oh, I Jesus. just I, I don't use it. 
it's just terrible. And I won't sell it because there's like memories associated with it. Because I bought him while we were in Japan, but it's just, it's awful. It sucks. I hate it. <clears throat> All right. Let's go and take a look at these new Lamy inks that are coming out. Um, this is from Apple Bomb. That's how I always hear it pronounced. It looks like Apple Boom. Apple Boom. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't like Apple. Uh, yeah. Apple. Yeah, because it has a little Apple icon. Like the Apple. Yeah. Okay, that's cute though. It's very cute. So these are 30 milliliter bottles from Lamy. They're the Lamy Crystal inks. They're um, 8 euros, 18 little euro cents i'm not sure it's about 947 18.18 <laughs> 18 9... euros just 8. like 18 point... 8.18 euros yeah there um, you go so it's it's 947 in the u.s about ten dollars that's not bad that's not a no, bad price that's at keeping all. up with lamy's other inks and these bottles yeah. look very unique i like them a lot um so colors we have kind of a reddish pink a ruby um a straight pink rhodonite a purple with maybe a little bit of pinkish in it, barrel, and um, we have a, a blue with maybe a touch of purple in it, azurite, a grayish blue, ben, what the hell is that? Benetite. Ben, benetite? Okay, I'm going to take your word on that one. Yeah. We have a green that I like quite a bit, peridot. Oh, um, it's such a goody green. Probably one of my favorites, amazonite, which amazonite, is like a, yeah. it's like a teal, turquoise color, brown topaz, which looks pretty good. Black Obsidian, and Silver Agate. Amazing. Agate? I don't know. Um, so these are these are pretty nice. I really love the Rhodonite, like that middle pink. <clears throat> I like the barrel underneath it. Um, Peridot and Amazonite, Topaz. Pretty solid colors. There's some weak ones here too, though, in my opinion. What, which, let's say which five are catching your eye, if there's even five of them. Okay, um, I'm going to tell you now, <laughs> anything that has to do with, like, gem names or crystal names i'm all here for so i all... absolutely adore them <laughs> you're gonna buy them all there i love all the colors i actually really do this is the first time i've seen really? something I'm like oh i don't hate these colors i well, really if they, don't if they come to the u.s in the 10 bucks a piece that's a hundred dollars for all of these that is a hundred dollars i can drop it's it's fine <laughs> <laughs> won't buy a hundred dollars but, but, we'll but, 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 but they they sell these if you get 10 or more at 6.98 per bottle so it'd be cheaper that's from Europe, though. Now, you won't have to pay that, which I think may lower this. Let me see what, what that is in USD. It's eight. That's about $8 a bottle. I can deal with that. That's 80 bucks. That's $20 saved right there. Without shipping. Without shipping. <laughs> Without shipping. Without shipping. To that's $6.95 shipping, please. <laughs> you better hope it's that low. <laughs> but, um, so these are coming out this month, apparently. We're going to see on that. Um, I can't find them in America. The only posts that I found on these um, was on the Fonto Plumo uh, Twitter account, and then here on Apple Bomb, where they have them. Um, they have some pretty solid colors here. Like I said, about half of them appeal to me. Um, you apparently love them all, which is the. I mean, the only one I'm I really like a just I have any kind of problems with is probably Topaz. Just because I'm it's November a... and I'm a topaz and I want topaz to be more of a yellow to it, it's just like a plain brown. I like which that I'm brown, still though. fine with. I'm still fine. It's they're all nice. They're actually really. My biggest fear is that just because this is not an actual color swatch, it's just kind of like a here's a color set. Here's what it's supposed to look like. They're gonna be either brighter or duller than they look. It's gonna be kind of like um that special edition pink. That came out. I, I love think Lozana did that. Pink. I love it's it. It's not use bad, it. but people were like, "This looks so different from what I thought it was going to." Yeah, because I, I think, I think they cashed it off as like they're like, "It's super." <clears throat> it's not super vibrant. You want to no, know? No, that's exactly pink. it. They they were like, "It's going to be the most vibrant pink," and it's it was not. If you so want a people... neon pink, go to Diamond, get Hope Pink or Cerise, and just call it a day. Um, these don't even look like ink swatches. These look like something that Lamy made. Because if you look, like zoom in on each one, the yeah. little streaks are all the exact same. They're just different colored. Exactly. So, so that's what I think is they probably just yeah, recolored them. That's, so yeah. now they may be fairly accurate. I don't know. We're going to find out, I guess. I love the bottles. Though. They look really, really nice. <laughs> Circular bottles are hard to store. 
Um, and these look like they might be a little difficult to fill from because of how sh short they are if they didn't have that super, I'm, super wide looking cap. Like, they look pretty good. I'm adoring this bottle, actually. They're really nice. I went really to a nice. different website. Um, I'm probably going to butcher the heck out of this, so I apologize. It's like Casadello Telegrafico, or whatever mm -hmm. it's called. Um, and they have actual picture of, like, of the bottles themselves with the ink in them. Can you put um, that link in the Discord yeah, so I can see yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Selfish. Mm. Keep them I was selfish. Yourself. I apologize. I don't no, know why, but I have like six. Give me a second. I gotta delete. There you go. I had two. Stylographica. Yes. I don't. Um, I'm really bad at speaking other language, Jacob. I apologize. Um, I love <clears> that matching band around the cap. Yes, That's it's nice, really man. nice. But if you look at it there, there's pictures at the kind of near the bottom. Yeah, um, I see it. It shows all the pictures, and they do look different. They really do. Now that one has Amazonite actually like wrote out with a pen. I'm guessing that it looks more wrote out. That's a gorgeous color. It looks a little light for me. I'm gonna be honest. I re I normally prefer slightly more saturated stuff. Doesn't look bad though. The exactly. ruby, the it's ruby looks a little pretty. bit more red. <laughs> oh yeah, the ruby's more red. The topaz is more what I would expect. It looks like it's not quite plain brown um they just overall this picture makes it look really really nice so yeah i'm i'm looking forward to these i will certainly pick up yeah i will I'm happily pick up not gonna buy them all i'm not gonna buy them all well jacob you know I, I some of us some of them <laughs> some of us you know are team player here want to buy all of them well, some of us buy pens instead of eighty dollars worth of ink. <laughs> that's, that's just me. You're not um, wrong. I'm noticing now. Um, the me with all my inks. The Benetite, Benetoite, whatever the hell it is, is um, it says document oh, proof. Um, so I'm guessing that means it's at least to some degree like an iron gall ink or um, uh, bleach waterproof, something like that. So that might be good for archival purposes. It looks a little light to be used for archiving documents, though. Like, it's not a very dark blue-gray. It's kind of a soft... Um, I actually have um, Pilot Roshizuku Fuyu Shogun in my Kaveco Sport at the moment. It looks very, very close to that color. Um, that kind of, like, soft blue-gray. So I could, I can see that potentially being an issue um, if you're going to use that for document archiving. But to be honest, if you're using archival ink, you're probably not going with a Lamy gemstone ink anyway so I might it's very pretty mm. Mm -mm. also I, I looked what it these up numbers mean at the beginning the 220 I, I'm sorry I go ahead I looked it up and it is Benetoite Benetoite like, Benetoite yes it's like B-E-N-I-T-O-I-T-E -E. yes it looks weird. the O is like code like O like Benetoite yeah that's what it looks like that's what it sounds like um when they said it so Okay, um, wait, which one? What is the numbers at the corner? Is that what you were asking? Uh, yeah, like there's um, 220, 260, 270, 360, 380, 420, <laughs> 470, 500, <laughs> 660, 690. So stupid. <laughs> I think those are color swatch codes. Maybe. Maybe like an internal thing. Maybe. Anyway, the 30 milliliters, they're Alami gemstonings, and they're, they're pretty. Um, I like them, you know, a decent bit. I... I they could look better, certainly, but they're not bad. You, of course, love them all. I do, okay. You're just <laughs> hating for no reason. I'm not hating, man. I'm just saying. Um, okay, let's go ahead and go on to what I am going to consider the controversial um, stuff. These are the Esterbrook SD pens. So, if you don't know, I think I covered it in one of the um, previous um, This Week in Inks. But Esterbrook was, it was bought out. This guy, I don't remember his name, but he put out a lot of really shitty pens, and people were pretty pissed off, understandably. New company brought Esterbrook, I forget who it was. Was it Monteverde, Montegrappa? I don't, I don't remember. I'd have to look it up again, which I'm not going to do right now. Anyway, new company bought Esterbrook, and they're like, hey, we're going to stick to the original stuff. You guys are going to fucking love it. It's going to be amazing. So, we're seeing the first product of that, and that is the Esterbrook Esty. They have it on Goulet under the coming soon oh, section. Lord. They have it in oversized. And then they have it in normal with a bunch of different colors. 
So these are the normal is um, $156. The oversized is $200. $200. Now, there's some stuff about these pens that is stupid as hell. Um, I let's mean, see outside here. of the way they look. <laughs> yeah. So they're... they're <laughs> <laughs> the blue one's I'm sorry, okay. guys. I just hate the way it looks so much. <laughs> the blue one's okay. I don't mind it. But yeah, the rest of these look fucking dumb. Um, their cartridge so converter, bad. their steel nib, $150 to $200 from a brand that, to be honest, I don't know if I can trust yet. Just being straight up with you, I just, I, huh. I don't know. Um, the cobalt chrome is probably one of my favorite combos. It's like a flake blue purple blurple material with chrome accents purple, um purple. it's pretty but 156 bucks mm, not feeling that it's like as a right color as right you're stuck on the gemstone man i think as would actually be a really it. good combo with this color at least what we're seeing from the picture so what do you think would you spend 156 dollars on a revived brand pen with a steel nib okay um <laughs> <clears throat> Let's preface this with the fact that when I pulled it up, I was like, oh, this is a kind of ugly ass pen. So, uh. It is. They're not, they're not gorgeous. You know what they look like? If you go really to the like very. This. If you go to the picture of like all the nibs across, they just. They almost remind me of a Pilot Metropolitan with a grip section, that little piece of that metal. That is kind of what they look like. It looks weird. At least for the first two. That's just first glance they don't look like the pilot metropolitan overall but they just kind of remind me especially the uh silver they're the same one. shape as it which is not saying anything because some pens mm -hmm. look like that yeah it's, it's just, just like a cigar shaped pen it but is it really uh, is it's very basic um outside of the giraffe color one mm -hmm. there's not really anything I, I like pops out at me the giraffe color and honestly the only one reason i would say that is because i would say like you wouldn't get the reference, Jacob, because you don't really watch Drag Race that much. But I don't. I don't like... watch RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be like Brown Cow, stunning all the time. I use it. That's all I could do with. Like we're, outside we're of just that, just gonna buy these pens just for references now. No, I hate auto. this pen. <laughs> I'm really not a fan of this pen. So I'm just so, like, one thing that is it worth it. <laughs> one thing that I do like about them is they're using Yovo nibs instead of Bach. No shit against Bach. I've just had a, a lot more messed up Bach nibs than I have Yovo. Yovo's generally just better in my experience. You know, um, no, no shit against them, but you try. No shit against them, but they kind of suck. <laughs> no, um, no I've, I've gotten some good Bach, Bach nibs. It seems to me about um, like 80% of the Bach nibs I get are good. Um, the other 20% have babies bottom and piss me off. But, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. But um, Yovo nibs are just more consistent. That's what Twisby uses. and They're fantastic. God, I love Twisby's nibs. Um, a lot of other manufacturers use them. It's usually Bakuyev or the two big ones, unless they're made in-house, like Pilot or um, Lamy, things like that. But, yeah, Yovo is a pretty good brand. Now, when I saw these, I'm assuming this is the first thought you 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 know thought of when you saw these steel nib pens for this much. You're like, what the fuck are they doing? <laughs> like, who's going to buy yeah, this? Yeah, I bet, yeah. I'm like, outside of people that really occurred. like them. They're... But that's just it. Like, people loved Esterbrook. 50 years ago, 60 years ago, and now but you they've just they, fallen out they of favor. Just, yeah, so they've kind of fell out of favor and that one guy's trying to revive it. The, well, the, the last guy that owned the company ran him into the fucking ground because he's producing crap. Uh, now, like, the you one... don't put out pins this much and then expect people to buy them. You need to start out with... They need to really put out another cheaper pin, get people's, like, attention with it, and you'd be like, oh, see, why that's... not... Why not start? Why not have? Do they have entry pins for Esterbrook? Is that like a thing? The Esterbrook J was one of the most popular pens. I'm gonna send you a picture real quick. It was okay. one of the most popular pens, possibly ever, to be honest. Um, they're gorgeous. They're super cheap. I just posted in the chat. If you want to take a look, there's a few different colors. Yeah. I actually oh, have that green one. They're not. Yeah, I've seen that. I'm gonna say, wait a minute. I've seen yeah. this one. So the the material has a lot of depth to it. It's really really gorgeous up close. It's um, kind of shimmery. They have it um, in a bunch of different colors. The nibs are interchangeable, and they were inexpensive and they worked. And that's why people loved them. They loved that they functioned. They looked good, unobtrusive. They just worked. This guy put out shit, and now Esterbrook's trying to recover. If you want to recover Esterbrook, put out the J again. I'd heard somewhere they Honestly, were going to do exactly that, it. and 
and it's it's ridiculous that they haven't. I'm gonna show you one more picture just so you can kind of see, see the material a bit more up close. Okay. Um. But yeah, the material's gorgeous. If they could do something like this again, I'd be like, oh wow. Like I've seen, I'm pretty sure I've seen this pin. Yeah, they're, they're extremely extremely popular. They they yeah. put out a bunch of different models, but the J is probably the most common one. Like so, it's really nice. I don't. I kind of feel like it looks like it has like snake skin, like the scale effect. Yeah. Which I'm not a huge fan of, but I would use it just because I actually love that the coppery brown color. The, I love that color. Yeah, the, co the copper it's finish absolutely is gorgeous. Beautiful. Just, so you can you can pick those up restored for like fifty bucks. It's not bad. No, and they work with all these different nibs that Esther Book produced. Let me see if I can find how many um, how many Esther Book nibs actually exist. I'm I'm curious. Um, I know there's just a, like a ton of them, a ton. There's an Esterbrook nib chart. Um, just going over real, real quick, it looks like a hundred, maybe more. Um, Hot dang. Like just listen <laughs> to some of these names. You have a flexible stub nib, a rigid medium, firm extra fine for bookkeeping, firm medium, firm fine, clerical, firm fine, Greg shorthand, firm fine, fine writing, flexible fine, italic medium, relief broad oblique, and it just goes and freaking goes. And goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. They have one for shaded writing. Like, what the hell is that? I don't know. <laughs> Medium manifold for. They Some have a nib need for carbon like copies. They literally have a nib for carbon copies. Like, it's so specific. And when I saw these pens, these revived Esther books, if you will, mm -hmm. I was like, what mm -hmm. the fuck are they doing? You're taking this brand and you're ruining it again. But I calmed down. I took a deep breath. Scrolled down the page a little bit more. And I found the Esterbrook MV nib adapter for $40. Bullshit price, by the way. It is literally a grip section. <laughs> this is all it does. It's a grip section of this $200 pen you just bought um, that works with your new pen. You unscrew your current section, put in this fancy... It's not fancy. It's, fucking, it's just a black section. It's very section. fancy. <laughs> you Take put up. in this new section, and you can use your old Esterbrook nibs. Woo, fancy! Um, here, here's the quick uh, description on Goulet. Esterbrook began manufacturing nibs in the U.S. in the mid-1800s, but the 1930s were a period of importance as they introduced their first interchangeable nib writing system in 1933. The interchangeable nibs gave the user many options for writing, whether in school, business, personal, etc. Today, a similar system is reborn with the SD and the specifically engineered MV nib adapter. The MV nib adapter delivers a vintage nib experience with a modern-shaped Esterbrook pen. You can fit any Esterbrook nib into this unit and use it with your modern SD fountain pen. A random vintage Esterbrook nib unit is included with this adapter. We cannot honor any special requests for specific sizes. So, I didn't read that last part until just now. So you do get a random nib with it. That's kind of fucking cool. That's so stupid. It's like, well, maybe you'll get something you like. Well, that's this the is... thing with Esterbrook nibs. <sighs> is there's so many of them, you kind of don't know. Unless you go to a pen show and find a vintage uh, dealer. I'm not, <laughs> just made like a drug deal moving oh, my hands like, <laughs> like an idiot. Um, if you go to a pin show and find a dealer, you can try them out. Otherwise, nah. so I think it's kind of cool. Um, I wish they would offer maybe a blind box nib thing. That'd be fucking cool, right? That'd be a good way to cash in. My okay. Would you, would you buy that? Okay, you, like, you gotta understand something. I love getting blind boxes. I do too. I like the idea of like, surpri so like good surprises. Them. Yeah. But my problem is, if I'm going to pay $40, I'm not oh, going to no, be no, like, no, no, no. oh, not, not no, $40. I lost what I wanted. I'm talking like 5 to 10 5 to 10 is different. This is 40 bucks. I know, but this is what I'm saying. You get but the you're adapter not gonna get like a bl if you If they did have the blind box, specifically oh, if, if they had a blind, that's what I'm saying. Nibs. For like an extra 5 or $10, you can get an extra, you can get a nib. Just a random fucking Esther Buck nib. That would be really cool. It's interesting. It's an interesting idea to I think, I think that would sell hate, a lot. And then you'd yeah. be like, okay, this is trash. What I'm wondering, <clears> though, um, I, I wonder if this is like a time thing. I don't know if these nibs, these random vintage Esterbrook nibs, are something that Goulet has or something that Esterbrook has like back stock of. That's a good point. Because, because... if they have. Either way, they're going to run out at some point. But Goulet would obviously have less than the manufacturer if yeah. they still had any. So I'm wondering if this is like the manufacturer sending them out. And, you know. Anyway, I think it's a really cool idea. I think it's an That's attempt to revive the series. Point. But. 
the the adapters sell it separately without the nib for like 30 bucks or 20 dollars something like that it's stupid give us a pen that doesn't cost 150 bucks to try these like if Honestly, you, though, if you told me that for 50 dollars <laughs> i could get this pen and it would accept old esterbrook nibs i would buy it in a heartbeat i would have already bought it like i would be emailing you like yeah put me on a pre-order list for this shit i know you guys don't have to do pre-orders <laughs> but like do it now i want it now it'd be so much more compelling but as it is now I'm having to spend at minimum, a minimum of $196 to get to use these old nibs. And it's... Which, if you're someone that likes Esterbrook and you're really big into it, you're well, already you... gonna, you're probably going to have a pen that works with this. You're basically buying a pen and then an adapter oh, to use your old nibs. Like My Esterbrook no... J has swappable nibs. Like, I can put there you go. any See, nib in so... it. So, my, that's what I'm wondering is who who's this aimed at? Just people that have money, There's, or... exactly that could probably be it. Is it's just like, well, I, uh, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I'm not a fan of Esther book just from the looks and from the story. So it's just these modern pens aren't great. They're not that good. They need to make good. them better. They need to make them prettier. They're okay. I don't hate the look of them, but they need to drop that price. Them. Like that's way too much. I, I kind of hate them. I think what they're doing is it's innovative. It's really, really cool. I, I love the idea of being able to use vintage parts on modern pens and like, uh, no, vintage, like, like that. a changeable standard, okay. but mm. on paper, that sounds great. That's, that's awesome. That's yeah. That's but then they're absolutely great. And then somebody had that idea. And then the company's like, yeah, okay, we'll do this. We'll torch $200 for it. That's what I'm saying. Like no, on paper, it sounds great. It's like, Oh it. yeah, we would love this. And people are like, but we need to charge money for it. So let's go ahead and do two hundred dollars. People think, will pay two hundred dollars. And this the sad part is I think some people will. I think people will buy this just to try it. I would love to try it, but I'm not spending two hundred dollars to do it. I'm more. They better have like range. a return policy. Goulet does. Awesome. But there's a restocking fee if you ink it up at all. So I don't, really? Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah, I forgot about that stocking. Because they have to clean it out and all the stuff. They have to go through a lot of work to yeah, do that. Yeah, I didn't. I've never returned a pen, so I never thought about it. But yeah, Not me, me either. I mean, I usually do quite a bit of research. Um, this As is off topic. I don't have this in the notes, but have you seen the new Colorverse inks? The Colorverse season three. Yeah, yeah, like the um, they're the Earth based ones, so they have like the um four. Coast oh. Redwood and Redwood Forest, the Methuselah Tree and Methuselah <coughs> Grove. Like, they have some really, really cool color combinations. Um, it doesn't say what series it's from. I had an email it. come up about it. Anyway, I remember they, that. They, they have some cool new colors. I would love to check And I was out. like, oh, this is really awesome because I actually love Colorbird. Like, as you know, I bought the two yeah. boxes. But the thing is, they're just, <coughs> they're, they're just priced really high. They are very, very high, though. I love their stuff, but it's just thirty-seven dollars, thirty-six dollars to drop on a bottle of, well, two bottles of ink. Like, mm, yeah, it's a little rough. Uh, okay. Oh, I see it now. The Coast Redwood. Oh, that's really mm -hmm. pretty good. I'm I liking think my the favorite. Scheme. I like the like Ginkgo tree one. Um, the Methuselah tree one's pretty good. It's um, it's pretty Ooh. interesting color. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like the orange and black. It looks very Halloweeny to me. Or um, black, black it brown. It does. Maybe? It's very um. Very Halloweeny, actually. I'm loving it. I love the box design on that one too. Just because I nice. like orange and black. Oh, I do too. So. I do too. It'd be a great thing to use in um, October, Jacob. Fantastic. Exactly right. <clears throat> um, okay, on to the last topic. This one's a yeah. little different. So Andy already has a Retro Fifty One Rollerball pin. Um, she has the um, Buzz or something like that. It's like B. It's B's. It's it's pretty cool, but. Um, I personally have a Baron Fig Squire Insightful Spectre. Yeah, I wanted it because it's like a dark purple color, purple gray, and has a little cute ghost on it, and I'm super into that. Well, I was browsing through the I actually Goulet's. like the buzz. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the picture of the buzz now. It's and I'm gorgeous. Like, oh, oh, it's, it's, it's mean, like 3D, it's textured I and everything. There's like, honeycombs. Like, I feel like I wouldn't out. want it just for the fact that um, I'm allergic to bees, and that scares the absolute shit out of me. <laughs> I forgot about that. I'm super <laughs> sorry. <laughs> But I love the ending with a little bear with his tongue sticking out. That's so, that's, that's part of the reason so I, got, damn adorable. I got it for. Yeah, so surprised adorable. her that when she loved it. <laughs> but yeah, so, if it went for that, I would love it. It's great. 
so I've wanted a um, Retro 51 for a while, and I've considered a few of them. They have so many fucking designs, it's ridiculous. Ooh, um, but they're, the they're roller balls, which are so much better than ballpoint pens by a mile. They're like the second best thing from a fountain roller pen. Roller balls is the best. Um, they're, they're, I don't like ballpoint good. pens because we use an orc and they're pretty ballpoint trash. Ballpoint pens are shit. Um, so basically personal this... Opinion. Yeah, it's not, it's not that personal. I think it's universal. Um, <laughs> so rude, Dale. Well, Goulet has a um, Smithsonian Dino Fossil, Retro 51. <gasps> Jacob. And it looks... Yeah. They have a rescue cat pen. They do. Um, the same thing with the buzz. Part of the proceeds go to um, supporting like cat shelters and stuff. I want this rescue cat pen. Do it. Do it. They're pretty good. I like these. I actually like these quite a bit. They look like they'd be click pen, but you actually twist the end to um, Ooh, extend and retract the that's pinpoint. Really, that's a neat idea. And their their rollerball stuff is great. It's fantastic. They actually use the same refills as my Baron Fig. Super smooth. Great. 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 They're kind of like a fine. They perform really good on shitty paper. All those <laughs> things. But yeah, I saw this one and I was like, hey, I I'm finally like found a Retro 51 that I want. And yeah. apparently you have two now because you yes, found the I cat have. one. I love this cat one. It's absolutely adorable. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to be picking this up. Um, try to. I'm, I'm assuming I may have $44 to buy it. Um, but yeah, definitely get the cat one. It, it's 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 great. They, um, they have... A bunch of different ones in that series. Um, I know, I'm looking at them here on Goulet. Um, I'm really liking a lot of them. They're actually very neat looking. The, They're not what the I The cat one's not that expensive either. It's like 36 No, it's like 36 bucks. Yeah. It's one of their more simplistic ones. It's just kind of a, a wrap. It's not necessarily textured. If but it wasn't that one, I want good. the I want the Dr. Grey one. Because it's a glow and dark skeleton. That's the other one I had looked at, actually. And that's, that's like my aesthetic right now. <laughs> dead person that's actually the um the one i looked at before this before Ooh. the skeleton one because it it looks cool and it like does. you said it's, it's glow in the dark it looks it looks nifty um we went uh, really off topic here <laughs> no we're, we're talking about we're talking about um retro 51 it's we like, are but there was a specific pin that you were that you showed me and it's really nice it was just the dinosaur one i was just talking it about dinosaur wanting an Esther. oh so um much. They have the new Baron Fig Squires. First off, I don't like Baron Fig. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's like one of those like um, Baron Fig. I'll I'll, I'll send Fig. you. Fig. I see it now. No, no. Yeah. Um, I have Google like permanently up, so I can look it up. So they have their like Squire line of pens. <clears throat> oh, um, I'm gonna send you a, a thing in chat. I I have the Insightful Spectre, um, which I'll send this to you as well. But I also want this one. This one's called the Mysterium, and it's uh. It's pretty cool. Yeah, thank you for sending me that, actually, because I'm looking for it. It is rollerball pens. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, all I can find is damn rollerball pens. What the hell? Ooh, I love it, though. Hello. It's gorgeous, right? It is. It's, it's wow. very minimal. It's very it's, orange. I love the minimal, design. Nice. Like, yep. the minimal design in general is, like, my favorite. Because it looks really nice, regardless of, like... Like, it could just be, like, a really ugly color but if it has minimalism on it it's instantly better Sounds you, not, you might actually like that. some of their stuff then they have uh, quite a decent selection of, of pens um let me see if i can find well i'm on their page so let me so you know how i don't like paying for like scalped like scalping prices yeah um i kind oh, of blue did pretty. for the for the uh Insightful Spectre. Don't say that, Jacob. No. Dude, like, I'm going to show you this pen, and you're going to be like, oh my god, that's gorgeous. Kind of need that. After you do that, you have to tell me the price. Don't tell me beforehand. Tell me it afterwards. So it I wasn't like, that bad. Hi. It wasn't like a... I didn't get, like... They didn't bend me over. Fuck me. <laughs> it's... We'll, we'll see. We'll see. So you can see the special editions are like $60. Um, let me know once you've got it, and I'll... Oh my god! Isn't it adorable? Oh, holy crap, it is adorable. It is like I the love best this. thing. Like, do you see now why I was like, I have to have this? Yes. Like, I absolutely have to buy it. So I saw it on eBay for like oh 150 bucks, and I oh. was like, mm. I was like, this guy's a fucking idiot. Nope. So I, I waited, I bided my time, found it on Reddit Pen Swap for $85. I was like, okay. Oh, I was like, $25 so... markup, and I was like, fuck it, I'm never going to get this pen again. <laughs> <laughs> It's so, so I went pretty for it. though. It's amazing. 
Um, they currently oh have... Let me see if I can find... Um, no, it's sold out. Of course it's sold out. I don't know why I was, like, surprised they, it's sold out. Some of them sell out really fast. Some of them hold on a while. Like, the Mysterium's been out for a while. Um, their current one, the Bolt, or whatever the hell it is. The Bolt, uh, yeah. It's like it's yellow with a little bolt on it. It's really cute. Yeah, it's... That Not $60 one... cute, but it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> that one's kind of... Mm. But they've had some cool ones. Like, they've had, like, a, um, a chemical sign green one. They've Ooh. had a brass key one. Um... Like, this, this is an aesthetic that they should really stick with, because it's absolutely working for them. It's adorable. My thing is, the the pin feels really nice. It's I certainly want... worth $60, but I, f I feel like they're leaning more towards the, like, hey, we're a fancy brand, rather than, hey, we make this pin that you might like. Okay. That's really what it is, because they have a $15... Okay, it's 12 pencils. I thought it was one pencil. That's why I was kind of freaking out for a second. It's the oh, Archer the... one. I love it. I love the Archer design. I would love that to be on a ballpoint. Um, yeah, just look up the Archer. Pen it's like an Archer pencil set. I've seen them. Um, I thought the one you were talking about was the new one that they just put out. The what? Um, the Elements pencil. Have you seen this? No, I'm just looking through the... Oh, I see it now. Oh, the, the, this one's 12 pencils as well. Okay, okay. I thought this yeah, was just one I mean? pencil. Yeah, see what I mean? Like, every time I keep seeing it, because... Like they're if you look really on the nice, regular like it... page, the regular page just says pencils, and I'm like, so is it just one pencil? You're buying one pencil for fifteen oh dollars? I yeah. would cry if it was one pencil for fifteen dollars. Right. Twelve, twelve for fifteen isn't horrible. I haven't tried their stuff. Um, <clears throat> their um, pencils. My biggest thing Actually, is, like like I just wallets, feel like it'd be but... horrible to. Um, I wouldn't want to use it. Right. It's just so sad. They're fancy. I, I think if I bought it, I would have to buy like two packs and keep one of them it's in really, just pristine condition exactly and use the rest of them. Um, Where's their wallets? Oh, I'm on the whole wrong section. Give me one second. Of course you are. Shut up. Hmm. Oh, I actually like that. Very small, though. I don't think I could use that. It's, it's literally your stuff, just slightly bigger. Let me see me if I can... I'm gonna send you a link real quick. Rickshaw Bags made a pen sleeve because um, I guess the guy who owns it has like all of the Baron Fig Squire like limited edition ones. Um, oh, hello. You can enlarge it and take a look, and that shows you some of them. He doesn't have all of them. I think he's oh, missing. Oh, I see it. That's he's cool. Missing some of them. But you can see the Green Experiment one there. Yeah, he's I missing do. a few of them. He what has is this gold one near the very end? I can't see that one that well. That's the brass key one. Let me see if I can find... I can just look it up if I knew exactly what it was. Yeah, it's, it's just Baron... I'll just type in Baron Fig Key. Um, but they had like a... It's a heart... It's, I think oh, it's a notebook pen that, combo. Yes. The notebook is so pretty, too. The, the pen's completely sold out. Oh my god. What's cool, though, is it, since it's brass, I'm assuming it's raw brass, it would patina over time, so it would look really, really cool. It would. Oh my god, that's mm. absolutely gorgeous, though. Mm. Yeah, um, I, I like their design aesthetic. <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool. Um, they have one that's an alphabet pen. I'm loving yeah. that, though. That's... That's hilarious and great. You kind of have to keep an eye like on that Instagram page or something to see when they're gonna roll these out, but they're they're pretty good rollerballs. It's um Let me follow this actually. This is really nice. Yeah. Some of their stuff's just overpriced. I've, I've heard their their paper is they're charging a lot for those notebooks and the paper is just kinda crappy. Or so I've heard I, I I'm just putting that out there. I have no idea, I've never used it. But yeah, they're kind of a um where Retro 51 can go over the top and just blow it out with some crazy fucking designs, they kind of keep it a bit more grounded, a bit more normal, a bit more minimal, with like some cute kind of quirky little logos on it. I think that's pretty cool. It is very, um, like, this is my thing, is I really do like the, um, I like the, min like, they really made a point of making it all minimalistic, and that's, yep. to me, that's really nice. One thing that pisses me off is if you look on the reverse side of the pen, it says bare and vague in like huge white letters. Yeah, I saw I'm that. Not and I was like, that, mm, that kind of kills it for me, but not not enough that I would really hate it. Yeah, no, I, I deal with it. Also, the pen is so slim. It's not too slim to write with, but it's so slim it just slips right in your pocket. 
They also have sleeves for them on the site if you didn't want to scratch it up, which I would recommend because yeah. if you're going to carry it in your pocket because oh, yeah. it's aluminum. But, yeah, they have some pretty solid stuff. Who knows? Maybe you'll get one for, like, your birthday or Christmas or something. Um, I'll buy for myself. <laughs> um, but, yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty neat. They have some cool stuff. I could deal with them being a little bit cheaper, to be honest, but what the hell. I don't know how much it costs to manufacture those things. I don't know. I think they only sell through their website, though, so you'd think they could cut out a little bit of the pricing. Yeah, every time I look up Baron Fig, all I get is their website, which is fine. Unless you're yeah. going to buy, like, a um, second hand. Yeah. God, I love the Spectre one. It's so adorable. It's gorgeous, man. I love it. Uh, if I ever get rid of it, I'll let you know. I don't think I ever... But if, but if I do, you'll, you'll be the first one. You should tell me. Yeah, I will pay, I will pay that full amount for that pen. The 85 or the 60? The 60? What the hell? <laughs> I paid 85 Jesus for Christ, it. Jacob. <laughs> I thought you said no markups. <laughs> sell sell for 150 <laughs> the, I'll give it to you the friend, the friend discount, 130 um, Oh, thank you. That's, that's all I want. So generous. No, but yeah, they're really nice. Um, I could try to keep an eye out for one for you. It's probably good. It's not going to be $60 if I find one for yeah, you. Yeah, I know. Let me follow them. Yeah, they're... They put out some really cool stuff, um, and a lot of them have little stories or something like that to go with them. I saw that with the key really one. It's really nice. Yeah, they um they have some some interesting stuff. Um, I don't like their branding, like their their approach to marketing. I'm not a big fan of. Um, what like is said, their I feel approach like to marketing? Actually, now I think about it, it just I don't seems see very... any approach to marketing. Like this is the first time I've really heard of them. And it's weird, because a lot of times, I kind of, when you go and look for pens or something, stuff jumps out I feel like they're putting the, themselves out there as, like, a semi-luxury brand, and that pisses me off. That, they, <clears throat> for I could their be pricing, wrong. I could be completely... No, 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 no. For their pricing, that's exactly what they're doing. Because they have a Wonder Dream, which I love the way it looks, don't get me wrong, their journal thing they have here. Yeah. But it's $22. Holy that shit, is they have a mouse luxury, pad? That is a luxury... That is so random. Why do they have a mouse pad? It's made out of leather. I don't know, but I fucking want it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that like sl blue slate looks pretty good. Oh, the, the blue slate line. is actually really nice. It doesn't hurt my eyes to look at. The yellow gold one hurts my eyes. The rose quartz actually hurts my, my eyes to look at, too. It's really weird. This looks tiny, though. 9 by 7.5. Yeah. That's kind of a little mouse pad. Look at the other pictures. It's very $5. small. I know, There's... like with that person's hand the on it. The one I have now that's like $5. <laughs> Is bigger than that. That makes me really sad. Mine that came out of my mouse is freaking gargantuan, so I don't have a perfect frame of reference right now. But yeah. But they have they even have little stands for the pens, like a little desk stand. It looks cute. Slips for the pens. They have a lot of accessories. What? You could you could easily go into a hundred dollars with these pens. I saw the pen slip. Where the hell do you see a stand? They have um, a ruler yeah. set. They have a fifteen dollar ruler set. I Are posted in the Discord. Now? You could take a look at that. Um, yeah, you just pop your pen right down there. Holds it. Um. Oh it's... my god, are you joking with me right now? What? Are they, they charging $25? Yes. <laughs> for a fucking pizza. What living. the hell? Oh, um, this have is you the ever Apple. seen the... This is the Apple of pen world. Oh my god. That's that's what I'm saying. I didn't want to come what out and say hell? that. Yeah. That's That's what they're... I will admit, though, I absolutely adore this, the lock and key notebook. Like... It's not functional at all, mm -mm. but damn, do I not love it. <laughs> yeah, uh, if they still have that set available, um, I, I briefly considered it because I, I knew when it came out. Like, I was I was there, I was around, but I think it was like 80 bucks for the, the uh, pen and notebook set, which makes sense, but I was like, oh, I don't know about that. Okay, the $12... Oh, is it Dot Grid? The $12 oh, for fuck, the it's three dot grid. train of thought... Okay, the twelve dollars for the three train of thought notebooks are is perfectly good. Like I would buy that. Sorry, just random, but I actually love it. Looks. Oh, there you go, Jacob. There's a canvas messenger bag for seventy five bucks. You can get I that. have my I have my bag, dude. Yeah, I still can't believe not sack bags sent me that. Like, I, it's a great bag though, too. Like, it's a good bag, so, Jacob. Dear dearest listeners, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Um, I'm, I'm not wealthy enough to continuously buy products, so everything you see pretty much comes out of my pocket unless I explicitly state it. Um, I have received one item at a discount, one item free, 
and um, I've probably emailed 40 companies to get just review samples. Like, I don't want to keep this shit. I'll send it back to you, but help me out here. So when Nutsack sent me that, I was like, holy shit. And then it turned out to be a great bag. Literally offered to buy it from them. They're like, no, 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 keep it. And I was like, I'm not going to tell you no. <laughs> it was, it was it's great. a really good bag. It. Like, it's a great quality it. bag. Exactly. What my the best thing too is they just um, updated on their site. You, I, I don't know if you watched their review or not, but my main complaint was the fact that they had a little patch on there that says "nutsack" on the bottom. I just I love, I love it personally <laughs> just because it's. Well, now you can get it without the patch. If, it's very like. tongue in cheek. It is, but the problem like is me, I work but... in like a corporate office. Yeah. So, and you can be playful there. Like I can keep my pins and shit on there, but if something's on nutsack on my bag, it'd be like, mm, don't know about that one, man. That's but, yeah. true. Um, also, the um, Baron Fig Squire, they have like the regular edition Squire with a little sword on it. They have it in five different colors if you're interested. But yeah, um, I think oh, that's about it for everything. Was there anything else that you noticed that you want to talk about at all? Mm, outside of the pretty ink colors, no, not really. Where were we down on those? <laughs> um, They're so good this enough was... to talk about twice, Jacob. No, no, no. This is supposed to be like 20 minutes. Um, it's been an hour and six minutes. <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> it's been great. If this people is... watch this, this is gonna yeah. jack up my view time. Like hell yeah. Um, if if this takes off, if this if this one does good, maybe we can do it again. Um, I it... mean, you could probably get other listeners or other people to join in as well. That's I mean, it's it's like a small thing. We're doing maybe Discord. It works. Me yeah. out. We're not podcasting because podcasting is expensive as shit to like host on a podcasting it is. site. Oh my god, it's it's insane. I thought it was free for the longest time. You gotta get that free trial, Jacob, that three month free trial. <laughs> I don't think it'd be three months. <laughs> um But I, I was listening to like um there's there's a YouTube channel called Today I Found Out and also on um, Top Tens. They do like uh like I don't think I have in, that one. informal stuff or informational stuff. They're really cool. Um but the guys that host it, uh Simon and sometimes um Dave and they have a, a podcast called Brain Food. They talk about these topics. I was listening to their newest episode. Um, they just, they're doing a series on space right now, and they said it was seven hundred dollars a month for them to host their podcast. Oh my god! Like, I know that's literally, literally like what eighty four hundred dollars a year. Jeez, that's ridiculous. That's oh insane, right? It's just, oh, it, it's not. Mm. But yeah, um, I think me and you are going to get off here and maybe play some Overwatch or something like that. Um, thanks, everybody, yeah. for tuning in. This yeah, thank you guys so much. If you ever get this far, it's it's been super awesome. Yeah. Leave us feedback and stuff. Um, convince Josh to do this once a week and waste hours and hours of his time. Um, it's not a waste if I, if I don't mind it. Speaking of which, I don't know if this is going to be weekly or not. I just really like the name This Week in Ink. It sounds catchy, and I've used it before, so it's going to be number eight. Um, but we'll see how it goes from here, see how reception is, and see if um, I can rope him into doing it again or grab somebody else. Um, but thanks, you, thanks guys, for listening. And um, if you have any feedback, any opinions, um, keep them to yourself. <laughs> no, <Shut up>. no. <laughs> leave, leave it down the, in the tell comments. Tell them in the comments. Yeah, that, that feedback oh actually God. means a lot, and I love it when you guys... Um, when you guys talk to me about stuff like that. Um, this episode especially will have a very basic visual on YouTube if this takes off and does something. Like, I don't know. If this, if this particular video gets like a thousand views, I'll go into Adobe After Effects and do like a visualizer or something. Or Josh will do it. Josh will do it for me. Yes. Um, the it takes several, that will hours, <laughs> several hours of work. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll spruce it up a little bit if it takes off and, and it makes us money. It won't. Or my channel doesn't make me any money as it is. But um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening. Um, Josh, was there anything else that you wanted to toss in before we go? Not top of my head, though. No. Awesome. All right. Thanks, guys. Um, keep an eye out for this coming, I don't know, whenever the hell we do it next time. All right. Bye. See ya.